Hi guys. It was supposed to rain today. So I worked late uh, yesterday after it got dark. It got dark really fast actually. But I worked on finishing up a little bit more of that because it was supposed to rain. Uh, mostly the leaves, like the pile of leaves that are right there. I took a lot of those inside. I'll show you what I did with them. Um, but I wasn't expecting this. However, it reminded me of why it is I was pushing myself to get this done yesterday. And yes, my body, my shoulder, my back are very sore today. Um, so I have my hand in my pocket <laughs> because my arm is happier that way. Um, I'll, I'll work on that later. But this is a pretty cool little fort in the wintertime, to be, to be honest. It stays pretty warm in there. It's quiet. You still get a little bit of the outside. It, you know, I mean, you can still hear, but it's, uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's nice to be able to sit outside and be able to enjoy it. So first I'm going to go show you a couple different things on this plastic. Um, I know a couple people were kind of interested in knowing a little bit more. I don't know what all you want to know. I'll show you what I think you might want to know. And then you can just let me know in the comments if you have anything else um, that you want to know. But we'll take a look at that first. And then for those of you who like forts, um, I'll show you what I did in there last night after it got too dark to film. And I'll tell you what I did last year. And then maybe we can kind of decide what to do this year. So, ooh, it's starting to come down hard. Um, I'm going to let you go. I'll see you out there. No, I haven't picked up those branches from the power outage a week or so ago. Um, I'm a little lazy sometimes. Oh, well. Anyway, so here's my little latch. I just have this cheap carabiner, you know, the, the kind that doesn't close, right? You know, you know those. We all have them. Um, uh, but that works really good as a hook. And then I just, last year I used a string, but this year I liked putting this heavy-duty twist tie on here because it gives it something a little more solid when it's cold outside. I just kind of, you know, hooked it up. This is attached to the corners of the tarp here so that way when I open it it just kind of opens up like a door Oof. and then at the bottom not on the very bottom eyelet not not that one but the next one up is where I have this and that helps keep the bottom all the way on the ground for the most part in the winter time so then I can come in here I brought a cushion so I can sit down. On days like this, when this wants to blow around, I can just cook that inside. And at least I'm not getting the direct wind because it's coming from that way. So. I'm going to try and show you this plastic as best I can. Here's some better light. Okay. You can see it has these lines. Those lines are like, I don't know, that's what keeps it really reinforced instead of the weave like you would normally see, like on this kind of a tarp. This is solid. It, there's no air holes at all in there. there. So, unless you poke through it like I did. Which isn't easy to do because I really had this tightened down tight last year and I realized for my climate I don't really need to do that. But you can see it's holding the snow. Those tennis balls kind of keep it away from the edge a little bit. Here, I need to fix this because when I was pounding them in yesterday, um, like last year, I put a couple zip ties on these things. Um, and a couple of the 
the big ones too, but they're kind of sporadic at this end and didn't hold together. Whereas over here, where I put them, those big zip ties, on pretty much everything, that held together just fine. I skipped a couple there. But here, there's either the black ones or the white ones. The black ones are just the cheap ones from a dollar store. They do not hold the cattle panels together very well, as I'm sure all of you know. But I will need to fix the cattle panels here. The tarp is super strong. So these eyelets here, this is like a heavy, heavy plastic for the reinforcements. It's melted into the tarp here. And like I said, this stuff right here does not have any air holes in it whatsoever. It's a solid tarp. So depending on what your use would be for it, you'd want to take that into consideration. Um, you can put any kind of connectors on here. Um, I've had metal ones, rope, and now the zip ties. Uh, these things are really hard. Regular tarp eyelets can't compare to these at all. And I'm not exaggerating. You can see that's heavy, wet snow. I'll go show you how wet that is. It's wet, wet. That right there, that's a little ice ball. Look at that, it's clear. It's ice. So much water in it. So much for the rain. But we can make another little snowman now. What I did inside here is I brought in more leaves. And I started throwing them onto this bed. Because this is one of the beds that gets the most sun in the early spring on the west and south corner and it's probably the farthest away from the trees but as you can see I took handfuls of this and I stuffed it down into the gap in between there and I don't really feel any air coming up through there at all other than from the other side so that's going to be helpful Last year, like here, I need to get more leaves because obviously that's not covered up. I know the leaves are going to settle, but it's what I have, and it's certainly better than nothing. Another thing, I love my fleece pants. I usually get them a little bit bigger than they need be because air is warmer. And they're a gray flannel, so if you guys happen to see them anywhere, let me know. Thanks. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can find a picture from last year or not. But last year I put my garden tools here. Um I also grew a few stalks of corn on the outside of this area. And then I brought in the dried corn stalks and kind of had them sitting up here with my little chair. I didn't have the bench in here. Um, I had a bale of hay right here that my daughter had brought me so that I could feed the neighborhood deer. But apparently the neighborhood deer don't want the hay. So... I use it in the garden now because it's all icky and moldy and the garden loves it. But tell me, what should I do in here? Um, 
I'm gonna have to put another string on that door down lower. I'm going to have to get the rest of the leaves. There's a bunch of leaves out in front of the garage uh, that after this snow goes away next week, I can go ahead and bring in here. Um, they can finish drying in here. I'll just throw them on one of the beds somewhere. I thought about maybe doing some fun stuff out here. Um, especially since I have you guys to talk to. And I need ideas on what to do with this space because I have issues with it. Um, I know I said I was going to talk about the beds and stuff. And I will. It just won't be today because I have other things that I'm working on today. And I do want to get started on those. But I wanted to come out here and show you this. Um, it is nice to be able to sit out here because even a little bit of, <laughs> of daylight in the winter time and when you live in the northern climates is it's a good thing but this is kind of like my little fort um i guess i i guess maybe i didn't think about it maybe subconsciously i did um because i like getaway places <laughs> but tell me what you think i should do um if you have any suggestions you know let's not go too crazy i did get a warmer sleeping bag I got it last week. It's a zero degree. It's about this big. Um, it's a little bit bigger around, <clears throat> but it looks really, really comfy. And I halfway considered maybe putting it down on one of these beds and maybe just sleeping out here because this is really, this has a lot of leaves on it. This has a lot of leaves on it when they're dry they're kind of wet right now so I wouldn't want to do that but they'll dry out fast enough um and it's only a few more weeks before the winter solstice so the days will start to get a little bit longer again but we have at least a couple months of gray cold weather coming so I think this would be fun to do something out here at least just maybe hang out maybe I'll do some live chats out here but this is um this is going to be fun. This is my little fort. What do you guys think of it? I'll talk to you guys later. I got to go get some other stuff done.